Hey, what's up? So this is the series where I make fun of people's really shitty tattoos. If you're new to this series, then basically, I'm gonna make fun of people's really shitty tattoos. There, you're all caught up. Let's do it. This is World's Worst Tattoos number 51. Hey, what's up? You know, last video I was talking about a girl who got her asshole tattooed, then I found another picture of a girl getting her asshole tattooed. God damn. You have got to really trust a tattoo artist to let them poke your butthole with needles. And look how fucking casual she is. She's just sitting there on her phone, bored as fuck. Like, what? How can you be casual when someone is back there poking your asshole with needles? I don't fucking understand that. I would be freaking the fuck out. I'd be trying not to clench my butthole like, oh god, he's gonna mess up if I clench my butthole too tight. She's just sitting there with her asshole spread like, yeah, this is just another Saturday afternoon for me. And again, what is she getting tattooed down there? That's what I want to know. Maybe like a winking eye? Or like, I don't know, like a Christmas wreath? Maybe she really likes Christmas. I just can't believe how casual she is though, for real. Like, she's just sitting there on her phone, just... You know, doing Facebook updates. Sitting there like, oh, I can't wait to go home and post a picture of my asshole on the internet. Turd burglar. Dedicated part of your body to a turd burglar. Sure, I get it. It's this clever little funny thing you did, but it's still a piece of shit tattooed on your body. When it gets right down to it, that is a piece of fucking shit with a mask and a hat on your body. And I don't even think you spelt turd burglar right, okay? I looked it up. Because I wanted to know what a turd burglar, what the definition of a turd burglar was. And burglar is supposed to be B-U-R-G-L-A-R. -R. So not only do you have a piece of shit tattooed on your body, but you spelt burglar wrong. <laughs> no, he's a turd burglar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is a turd burglar anyway? Like someone who reaches into your ass and steals turds from your body? You wake up with a sore asshole and you're like, what the fuck? I don't even have to poop today. I looked up the definition of turd burglar, actually. And here's the definition I found. Well, the best definition I found. Turd burglar. When you finally find an empty public restroom for a dump so massive that it requires complete solitude for the deposit. And then someone walks in, especially at your office slash workplace. Just as I was about to release the beast, some turd burglar entered the bathroom, causing my sphincter to snap shut. Here's one, how about just fuck you, burger? From turd burglar to fuck you, burger. This one's pretty self-explanatory. The guy likes hot dogs better than burgers. And at least the artwork is amazing in this one. You can tell the detail and the color. It's just, it's so vibrant. Why wouldn't you want that on your body? Here's a McDonald's tattoo. I'm loving it. With a straw coming out of his ass. Oh yeah. What are you gonna suck out of that ass? That's a turd burglar technique, actually. You stick a straw in someone's ass and you suck the turds out with your mouth. That is the most efficient way to burglar turds. And then there's this hot mess. <laughs> what is that even supposed to be? You should never look at a tattoo and be like, what the fuck is that? When you look at a tattoo, you should know what it is right away. And this one looks like a cover-up on a cover-up on a cover-up like he just couldn't decide what the fuck he wanted now it's just a big blob of color whatever it is it looks like shit now <laughs> you're gonna have to get it covered up by making it like a really big black block or maybe just like a big black circle and then people will be like whoa what's your tattoo and you can be like a black circle here's a dick snail yeah wouldn't you just love to have that crawling all over your body a snail with a dickhead here's a funny little fact about me my dick will actually retract inside my body like a snail. It's actually a really cool technique, you know, if my fiance's bugging me for sex and I'm like, oh, I don't wanna have sex today, I'm just like, no. Yeah, like I ever turned down sex from a woman. <laughs> uh, that's how you know it's bullshit, cause I said I would turn down sex. <laughs> yeah, right. Not today. Ooh, white trash on the backs of your legs. Yeah, another one of these, you know, trendy people who likes to label themselves as exactly what they are. White trash. And he's wearing shorts, so he's proud of that. You'd think he'd wear pants so that he would cover it up, because that's a pretty embarrassing tattoo, but no. I don't know why people label themselves as what they are. Like, you want people thinking you're white trash? What if you aren't really that trashy or white? I'm thinking about getting a tattoo on my lower back that says sarcastic asshole. My mom is my angle. <laughs> That's a shame. Come on. You can't be a tattoo artist and not know how to spell angel. You know there's a lot of tattoos out there with the word angel on them. Come on. Here's a guy that changed his man boob into a woman's boob. It's funny because it's pretty proportionate to her other boob. This is disturbing to say the least. What if he loses a bunch of weight? Then she's gonna have one flat boob and one big boob. That's not gonna look cool. 
he basically has to stay fat forever now so that this tattoo looks proper. Here's a mom memorial on top of a vacuum. I don't know if this is sweet or if it's kind of like an asshole thing. It's like, I love my mom because she cleans the house a lot. That's why I love her. I mean, she's a nice woman and she gave birth to me, but I really like how clean she is. Here's one that I have been holding on to for a long time, and I couldn't really show you guys this one because it's there's just so much that needs to be censored in this tattoo. So today I just said, fuck it and I censored a bunch of it, and we're gonna finally do this tattoo. So let me explain to you what's going on. This is two mermen embracing each other, and the one in the back is giving the merman in the front a reach around. He's just jerking him off. Not only is he jerking him off, but it's under an archway of dicks, which are jizzing above them. This is a fucking masterpiece. It's on you for life. When I see a tattoo like this, I just can't help but wonder what they said to the tattoo artist. They went into that tattoo parlor, and this guy was like, Give me a really gay merman scene. Look at that. And they did a good job. They're like, I am going to give you the gayest merman scene ever, ever created. But honestly, shit, if a merman popped out of the water and offered me a reach round, I'd probably do it. Fuck, no one's going to know. No, no one's going to believe that you got jerked off by a merman. That is the one time you should experiment in gay sex. Sometimes I just say things and then later on I'm like, what? Why the fuck would I say that? But, you know, I'm going to leave it in the video because that's that's how I roll. I just say fucked up shit and just that's that's about it. Here is a burger with chick's legs or it looks more like a burger who has eaten a woman whose vagina is also a burger unless that's supposed to be his tongue. I don't know. That is very creative. If vaginas were burgers, I would. Well, you know where I'm going with this. If vaginas were burgers, I would be having sex with burgers all the fucking time. Burgers would put fleshlights out of business because everyone would just fuck burgers. Barbecues would all turn into orgies. If burgers were vaginas. So, thanks for watching this World's Worst Tattoo video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy me. And if you do enjoy this series, hit the like button down below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of series you want to see, what kind of stuff you want to see. Any material you have for me, send it to fluffyfanmail at gmail.com. And other than that, if you like me and you're new here, then subscribe to my channel so you get notified of my videos when they come out. Also, hit that little bell so you actually get the notifications. We are now at 1,294,000 subscribers. Moving on up. Let's do it.